time for a change, start living it right I'm ready to make a decision for Christ, I wanna give him my life Life, 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 life Amen, amen Praise the Lord Jesus Christ That even in the midst of such an untimely tragedy The glory of God is revealed in this young man Giving his life to Christ And right now, we have a special request from the family That a young man share his heart Receive it this time, Marcus Gray My heart goes out to the family First of all, y'all need love Don't hesitate to call, I'll be right here If it's just for a prayer to God Or just to talk, I'm right here Even just the right tears But what I wanna say, there's gonna come a day For each person to die and then to face God None of us know when it's our time to go So while we all still alive, just repent and embrace God Not these lies, these guys telling all on the block The same lies in disguise that's got this man shot It's hard, y'all, when we get this type of funeral Cause usually the eulogy is where we talk nice And when we leave, we sell weed and chop bricks And turn tricks into something like this, flip on the lights Guess what I'm saying, it's the same old song He loves you so much, so come back home Now according to our text in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 We have the promise of God that He is a comforter In not just some, but in all of our afflictions Yes, and those of us who have experienced the abundant comfort Through our relationship with Christ Or equipped by the grace of God To assist in comforting this family And yes, church, we want to wrap our arms around them And serve them at this time of bereavement Not just in word, but in deed also Now as I look over all of these young faces in this sanctuary There is no doubt you have been touched by the life of this young man And gripped by his death Yes, we are forced to hold our attention at death today Though in our generation, life, pleasures, pursuits, having big things and living big dreams are more appealing topics of conversation and thought but today we face the one undisputed absolute truth of our own mortality but in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9 God gives us two reasons for us to face death and our powerlessness against it number one that we should not trust in ourselves and number two that we should trust in God who raises the dead now understand we are not victims of death but death according to James is a result of our sin and rebellion against God but we are not left without hope for God Son, Jesus Christ, who took upon our sins and died on the cross, and according to Hebrews, defeated death through his resurrection for all who would believe. Chris Johnson has not died in vain. There are some in this room who, to the glory of Christ,